and welcome back to Music Free Gaming. I hope you're having a fabulous day today, and uh, I was not planning on streaming this morning. Yes, I know I normally stream Saturday mornings, but man, I was feeling so dead yesterday, it, and even Thursday. You know, I got finished the stream, it's like, man, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do Saturday. I'm just not doing great. But I got some good sleep last night. I am rested. I am ready to, uh, I'm ready to stream, right? Let's just have some fun. I'm not going to be recording this for a video, though I, I may pull some clips from it because, you know, clips are fun. But this is all just fun and excitement. Hey, Rachel, how's it going? Glad to have you here. So let's get into some uh, modded Minecraft back in my create world, going green, and yeah, this is going to be fun once I remember where all of my buttons are. Okay. <laughs> it's like, let's see, I got the KVM over on, on this side over here, and I've got the, my stream deck is over on the other side, and my keyboard works somewhere. And there are all of the bees in the world. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Uh, hope you all are having a good morning. Oh, it's nice to get some sleep. It's been rough the last couple of days. It's like, you know, I really should get more than like five hours of sleep a night, you know? Anyway, so the honey factory is done. We got that done on stream on Thursday. And I, I came in, I think I did got all of the uh, decorations in. So that's looking kind of cool. Um, but what I need to do today is I need some, uh, I need bottles. I need glass bottles and I um, don't have a nice way of doing that. So we're gonna do some automated glass bottle production today. And just see if we can knock that out. Shouldn't be too crazy. Um, I've got, well, I've got most of what I need. I've got sand. <laughs> I've got a lot of sand. So let's get over here and see what I can do about getting some sand. Now, we're getting some glass and bottles and all of that stuff. Unfortunately, I'm over here at all of this spaghetti. So let's see now. This is, yeah, this is my, this is my quartzificator. You know, it turns quartz and, uh, or turns sand into quartz and gold nuggets. So I'm going to be working off this machine just a little bit. Uh, but I need to make a few changes here. So let's get the toolbox out because we are definitely going to be needing to uh, play with the create stuff here just a bit. I don't need all of that. Okay, so I do need that. I'm going to need some belts. Ooh. I may need some kelp here in the not too distant future. Yeah, a kelp farm is definitely something that I'm going to have to build soon. Because I'm, well, I'm going to need it for foodstuffs. That's, that's definitely a thing. But, yeah, I think we'll go here. But I need it for belts. And, uh. This whole lack of belts thing is going to be an issue, I think. All right. So what I'm going to do... So first of all, here's here's my problem, okay? Let me hop up here. So I've got all of the sand pumping out of this machine and coming over here to get quartzified. But I also have this little bitty machine over here. Basically, it was just sucking sand out, so I had a, an easy way of getting to it. it. Turns out I've got an easier way of getting to it. But, right, so I can just reach here. But what I need is I need this to produce separately from the quartz farm. So, and right now it's all controlled by this belt. Right, it's all coming off. There's that clutch down there. It's coming up a decent way, right up into this, into the machine up here. And so, basically what I need to do is uh, separate out this feed line from this feed line as far as 
all of the control systems go and we should be solid but yeah this is going to be a special breed of fun um i am going to need another clutch though i don't think i brought one with me so let's go grab a clutch maybe a nice patent leather job with uh, brass buckles okay that was, that was a fashion joke i uh, no okay all right all right I don't know if they still call those little tiny purchase clutches though. I'm not I'm not that involved in the fashion world. I mean I have a daughter who got a degree in apparel design, but none of that knowledge made it to me, so <sighs> all right. So let's see, I need to change a number of things here. So this guy, not this guy, over here. All right, so this guy is going to be coming out. So I need to clutchificate. Yeah, I guess I can do this here. Hopefully this will work out okay. I'm basically going to end up moving all of my stuff here. It's going to be a little awkward, but... All right, and this guy is just going to end up... Oh, let's grab one piece of quartz off this assembly line up here. Just so that I have it to set filters later. Close enough. I mean, it's one stack. I guess that's pretty much what I was asking for. Okay. Okay. I don't need this gold. I was just going to put it back on the conveyor belt. There it goes. All right. All right. So that's going to go. Now, this is going to have to come out. All right. So this is all going to back up. Now, those fans are not blowing. Okay. Okay. The belt is going, but the fans obviously are not, which is fine. Um, that was sort of the point. <laughs> All right. So let's see. So this is happening here. That's going to fill that up, which is lovely, I suppose. Now, and actually that's part of the problem. So I think I could actually run... Ooh, okay. Okay, I guess I'm uh, down here now. You ever have those moments? Like, I was supposed to be somewhere, and now I'm not. Okay. So that's going there. This needs to not... Oh, actually, it can. Um, But I can't reverse... Oh, right. Okay. Okay, that's going to separate. So I need to be sure these fans are still blowing that way. If they start sucking in, everything is backwards. So, Because what I could do... Yes. So I could turn that that way. And if I hit this with two gears... One or two gearboxes might do this. Do I have one or two gearboxes? I have two. Well, that's awesome. I may have to make more of those, but gearboxes, sweet. All right, so the plan, such as it is, is take one of these is gonna go vertical. The other one I may need in order to change rotate. Oh, no, no. Okay. That's going to have to come out no matter what happens here. Okay, now if we are sucking in, which is wrong. So, so that's going to have to come out that way. And boom, now we should be blowing. Yes. Okay. 
Awesome. Did I bring a bed with me? I did not. Also awesome. Um, let's go find where I left my bed. It's probably down by the honey factory. <sighs> I'm sleeping partly for safety, but also partly for, um, well, the safety of my machines. I don't want to end up with a creeper wandering over there and blowing all of my stuff up. That seems like a really bad thing to happen, right? It's like, you know, I've just spent all this time on this. Get more stuff for the tools box. Yeah. Well, problem is all of my stuff is over there. Um, do I have... Yeah, because you're right. I'm probably going to need it. Of course, I left all of my stuff over there, too, so that's fine. Um, shafts. Got almost nothing. That's all going to be over here. I'll make a few more cogs and grab a crafting table. That should be fine. Did I leave them? I did leave a bunch over here. Perfect. Yes. Rachel, you are full of great ideas. Thank you. I could be efficient. I rarely am. Uh, let's see. What I ha do I have in the way of planks? Okay. All right, and let's just grab the two stacks, do it. Yeah, let's just leave it at two stacks for now. If I need more, I'll get more, but... And I've got casings over there. Let's grab a crafting, ta crafting table. One at, uh, all right, fine. I'll just craft one. Yeah, no, there's, there's a reason. Ever wonder why I have 18,000 crafting tables? Yeah, this is why. All right, I've got all the casings over there, so if I need to make more gearboxes, I've got the stuffs. All of the stuffs. Yeah, no, I'll be good with that. It's a beautiful day in the crafting hood. All right, so let's go ahead and just throw that stuff in there. Yeah, let's, I'm going to go ahead and craft up a couple more gearboxes just because I have a feeling. Okay. That's more than a couple, but it should be fine. All right. Awesome. So this is now chugging along doing what I need it to do. Okay. Cool. I The only thing I need to do now is put the radio back on it so that it uh, doesn't end up filling my uh, storage with quartz. Not that quartz is bad, just not what I need at the moment. Okay. It's also not what I needed at the moment, but you know, sometimes, sometimes you just have to fall off your landscaping that you didn't do. Okie dokie. All right, so now that's going to do its thing. Now this, uh, yeah, grab one of these. That's going to have to move. Because while I do need to turn off the glassificator over here, that needs to happen in a place that doesn't block this. So let's figure out where this is all going to go. All right, so let's see what we've got here now. So that's not going to happen. In fact, what I should do, just to be on the safe side, block that. That way I keep all of that stuff separate. Um, let's come up this way. All right, let's grab, grab a couple of shafts. And what I'll do here is let's take the clutch and it's going to go here okay and oh right out of belts i'm an out i'm out in the toolbox i've got got them in my inventory all right nice all right so that's gonna this is gonna control all of my other fun stuff here Sweet. Now, 
I'm also going to change this connector so it so I can just pull sand directly out of the vault there but all right so we're going to run this this way now here's where things are going to get fun and messy and all that stuff it's, uh, there's a hill in the way So let's go ahead and get all of this cleared out. Now, what I'm going to have to do is set up a uh, set up a system of fans to blow lava into stuff. That would be really convenient. Well, this is coming way out this way. It doesn't need to go this far. And in theory, let's see what has this one, two, three, four. Right. Oh, it's it's four blocks wide. Right for the that five, six, seven, eight, nine. Huh. Six, seven. Right. It should line up with this, so I could actually output into. If I expand this vault this way, theoretically, I could expand into that if I wanted to. All right. Well, we'll burn that bridge when we get there. Um. Cool. Do I have any funnels? I don't. That's cool. All right. Let's go. You know, it, it wouldn't be one of my projects if I actually brought everything with me that I was going to need. On the other hand, I had no clue I was... Well, I suppose I probably ha would have had a clue had I thought about this for more than about 15 seconds before the start of stream. Uh, but I'm going to need a bunch of things going on up here. So I'm going to need some funnels. I'm going to need some filters also. Yeah, okay. And this is going to get... Oh... Bottle production is going to be slow. It's okay. It's all right. We'll uh, we'll get there when we get there. Let's get uh, okay. So I've got two of those. I'm going to need more than that. So and that is it. What am I out of? Great. Um, let's take a moment and let's go buy some redstone just so that. Uh, I've got some, if I do need to make a few more uh, things. Electron tubes. That's the ticket. Hi, guys. All right. You don't need it. You don't need it. That's right. That's right. Iron for everybody. Except you guys. You guys get them. Suppose I could heal up my pickaxe too while I'm doing this. All right. Are you guys done? Are we gonna play this game again? Apparently not. Okay. Well. Sure. You know, I just thought how weird it would be to shoot somebody with an arrow of fire resistance with a flame bow. That would be a little bizarre. It's like, hi, I'm going to set you on fire, but you're not really going to feel it much. Okay. We'll just throw some redstone in there. I'll need more of that, but deal with it. Would actually be really awesome. And I'm not sure I'm going to get to it here. Come on. Uh, what would be really awesome would be to set up a machine to automatically craft electron tubes for me. Or at least the rose quartz. Because that's a pain to do with all the sandpaper and stuff. But I'm not sure I want get, to get into it in this series. All right, so that's going that way. Right, so we've got all our goodness happening here. Oh, excuse me. This is uh, cool. All right. So first thing I want to do. Filters. 
I forgot filters. Probably doesn't matter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop that. Okay. Um. This is going f not like super fast. So I probably should. Yeah, let's go ahead and whoops. Okay. Should have pulled this side off first. That's fine. I now have lots of sand. All right, so this way, instead of dumping one at a time, it'll dump, dump stacks at a time, potentially. So this is going to fill up really fast, which is fine. All right, now... What I'm going to need is lava. So let's... Lava's going to go here. I need the fans to come here. Bed. Awesome. Yeah, because what I need to do is I need to set up... Um, oh, heck. I don't even need that chest there. If I were to change this... Yeah. And just... I talked about this a minute ago. If I just tap out of that... I'm not going to need this chest at all. But we're going to leave it for a moment. Because... It'll be fine. Um, fans. Right. Right. I, I know what I'm doing. Fans. Okay. So, let's put in the fans. Yeah, we'll put them in here. Do I want to come out? Let's go out this way. I may need a little bit more or less room. Actually, let's put it here just to keep... This way I've got a little more room to keep everything um, safe if I accidentally spilled lava. Because that is a thing I will 100% do because I am bad like that. Okay, so my fans... Let me go to there. Okay. Do I have chain drives in here? I do not. You know, I may have to set up a, se a second toolbox. All right. Well, you know, back and forth and back and forth. We're all going back and forth because I can't remember to bring everything I need. Okay. No, we're good. We're fine. Everything is fine. Uh, no, this is not ideal. But, hey. At least I know what I'm here for. Chain drives. Grab a bunch of those. Okay. Um, hang on a sec. Just while I'm here, do I have strips? Stripped logs? I do not. All right. Let's grab, you know, let's just get a bunch. I'm just going to throw all of these in the uh, peeler and this way I can, if I need to, I'd come up and I can do more in case dealy bobs or whatever. So, yeah. Okay. And go for it. All right, I'm not saying I'm going to need it right away, but, you know, eventually I might do what I need here. There is something to be said for planning. That something is, I don't do it, but there is something to be said for it. All right, so we've got ourselves. Okay, all the machinery, all right. Cool, so this is going to go this way. So I need to take these encased chain drives. Let's give myself a little bit more room here. All right. So we're going to take some encased chain drives, and we're going to take them this way. Now, 
that would be really convenient. And I mean really convenient. It's like the most convenient of convenience. Let's pop this up here. Uh, shaft, so that's actually spinny spinny. And boom. The clutch is in the wrong place, but that, but that is all blowing out. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, if that clutch is in the wrong place, um, awesome. That means that what I really need to do is, oh, this machine is getting uglier and uglier by the minute. Um, Okay, let's just break that for a minute so I don't get blown all over the place. Um, wow. Um, this is kind of messy. All right. So in all honesty, where I need the clutch would be over on the other side. It's going to take that. Because that can go this way. This can all stop. Because it, So when it comes to rotational power, um, it's... It actually... Um, the belts don't use any. Right? I mean, you, you need it to make it run, but they don't cost SU. But the fans do. So that's what I really need to shut off in this process. So basically this row of power coming through this way. Okay, I think this is I think this is actually gonna be really good. Let's let's kick through here a little bit. Because I am eventually gonna have to get some mechanical crafters going back this way, so. I think we're going to use this in case chain drive is our main powered feed line of all the things coming this way. Okay, so this is going to come this way. Um, I don't need to worry about blocking that, but I probably should just for my own safety. All right, so let's get ourselves. Okay. So that's going to go there. Uh, yeah, lava's going to come down this way. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah, and then I'll, I think what I'll do is maybe I'll go get some glass. Just to put along the top here. Um, lava's going to be here. Because I really don't want to fall into the lava once it's there. You know what I mean? That just seems like it would be bad for me all right but what i do need to do is i think what i need to do is actually move this chest over here do i move a chest or actually i could use a tunnel filters I keep forgetting to grab filters. One trip, man. I could do it in one trip, but... You know, I, I can't remember who it was. One of my parental type figures. My dad, stepdad, one of them. Insisted that no hardware project, no DIY project was done until you've made at least three trips to the hardware store. I, it's probably right. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take a few filters. I don't know that it's gonna need to be that many, but that's fine. And then I had some tunnels. Let's bring those with me too, because I think those are gonna work a little bit better on the belt line. I mean, that's what they're there for, so. 
Now, here's the thing. I'm making glass bottles so that I can put honey in them, so I can put um, milk in them, water maybe. I gotta double check the crafting recipes, but I one of the byproducts of this whole process is glass, right? Because I'm going from sand, I'm gonna smelt it into glass, and then the glass will be used to make the bottles. What I'm wondering is if I want to actually um, set up a little bit of glass storage. I should have brought some chests. Let's check my storage chest, see if I have any in there. Um, because since I've got the, the system up and running anyway, uh, storage, there we go. Oh yeah, chests, perfect. Yeah, since I've got that going anyway, would it make sense to, um, oops, not that. I want to use barrels and not chests. And I certainly am not going to need a stack of barrels. Anyway, as, uh, I'm going to finish the thought. I will, in fact, finish this thought at some point during the stream. Stay tuned. Now, I'm, I'm saying, if, do I want to actually grab a stack of barrels? Stack of barrels. Uh, a barrel to store glass in before feeding it out to the crafter. Uh, one, it'll be nice just to be able to have the glass already made up. But it doesn't take long to smelt it through the... Uh, the auto smelter I've got in my base anyway, if I wanted it. And I'm going to be pulling sand directly from here if I need to. So, oh, that is a question. Um, I'm wrong. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a double chest. All right. So basically the, uh, tunnel is going to go there. So let's put double chest right here. All right. So that's going to go there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take one of these filters, just one of them. And this filter needs to be not glass. Drag and drop is cool, by the way. Okay. And then I want this to block there. Okay. All right. Now what I can do then is I can pull all of this out. So the glass is going to, uh, or the sand is going to get pulled right through here. I could put a andesite tunnel there if I'd brought one with me. Okay. Yeah. So this is, this is the thing. It's time to remove this and make this work. Actually, let me see if I have a lever in my redstone box. And I do not. Awesome. All right. Well, that's, this problem is actually easily solved. I just need to uh, grab a, uh, Well, I was going to grab a non-silk touch pickaxe, but apparently I didn't stick one in my toolbox. <sighs> All right. We'll get some cobblestone. Oh, actually, uh, cobblestones right here. Yeah, um, and I don't have sticks. Fine. Ah, uh, fine. I'll go back and get a lever. I'm just going to continue. I really should just wear myself a path through that grass. All right. No, we're good. Everything's everything's great. All right. So we'll throw the cobble in there. Let's get a lever. Great. Dirt can all go in there. Gravel definitely can go in there. 
since I'm here, let's grab the andesite tunnel. I'm just going to need one, and it's... Andesite tunnels are pretty much dec decorative only. Okay, they they have no filtering use. They have all they do is just sit on the the uh, mechanical belt and look good. Uh, excellent. All right. Remind me when I get to the end of stream to uh, put my non silk touch pickaxe in there. Okay, so what was I doing? Right, this is going here. This is this is going to be glass. Actually, you know what? This needs to allow glass, not be not glass. Cool. So, logic. I should try using some. All right, so we're going to do this. Take that out. And I'm just going to fall down into the hole. Cool. All right, no, I'll get around. That's, I just realized I, I just put that in the wrong spot. It's not a bad spot. It'll work there. It's just not where I want it to be. All right, there, saved myself a little bit of falling. And we'll just slap that there. I wasn't expecting that, but Coolio. All right, so what that means is I now have direct access to my sand vault, which is a little bit nuts. I have been tempted, honestly, to run um, connections and directly into my uh, cobblestone. Maybe not my gravel, but it, definitely my my cobblestone. Since I'm using a, a silk touch pickaxe exclusively, um, I don't have a lot of cobble. And cobble's used in a couple of redstone components, which is important. So. You know, it's a thing. All right, so that's going to come in this way. Um, <clears throat> lava is going to fall down. Um, how did, okay, that's all smoke. That's water. I did put the water one block above the fans. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. And then what I can do is I can block off here. Okay. Which I will do once I have the machine built. I don't want to have lava running here while I'm still building. <clears throat> okay. But what I can do now is... Well, if I break this, I'm going to have a, a sand everywhere. So it would be kind of nice if... Uh, this was all cooking. All right, well, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. All right, so this is going to be holding glass. All right. So the glass is going to come out this way, and now I need to feed it into mechanical crafters. And I think I brought six. I think I actually am going to want... More than that. So this is one of those annoying things. So, glass. Bottles. Bottles are crafted in this weird geometry, right? Just like a bowl or something. Which is great, except to craft it, then you have to put mechanical crafters at these weird diagonals. Which is fine, but you need to actually have something in between them. So uh, you need to have actually four crafters and a blank. All right. So. 
cool. So if I want to feed, I, I'm kind of thinking I want to do two sets. So let's go get a few more mechanical crafters. This is one of those where I thought ahead, but not far enough ahead. I was thinking I would need one set of crafters, but I think I want to do two just for, uh, just for the speed. Because mechanical crafters are not the fastest uh, machines. They're not bad. They're just not fast. So, all right. So let's go craft up a couple of more, which I probably I am going to need. Let's uh, brass, 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 brass. From where I look, it's brass. Okay. Cool. And now let's finish our uh, crafter here. So that's going to be there. All right. And mechanical crafter. Boom. And I am right, the electron tubes. Well, that's it. I've got one. But that's what I need for today. So we are okie dokie. All right. So now how do I get, how do I feed stuff into two sets of mechanical crafters? <laughs> right. What I'd like to do. Uh, what I'd like to do would just be to set these suckers like back to back and feed into the middle, but which is doable with the right architecture. Okay. Right. I would like to sleep now. So the glass is going to come here. We're going to need two deals and let's get another chest. Yeah. Okay. This will. Yeah, I think I can make this work. So we're going to stick a chest, a double chest here. Now this has to be a double chest because I'm going to be feeding into two systems here. And there's a very convenient cave right here, so that's great. Um, and because of the storage mod, I don't, I'm not quite as, I don't need to be quite as careful about where everything is going. But uh, what I am going to do is I am going to set this up so that it's it does turn off, but it's self-regulating. I'm going to do the same type of thing where it's, this will fill up a double chest with bottles. And if it needs more, it'll fill more. Uh, but if for some reason the redstone breaks or whatever, it will still stop. It will stop producing bottles. Which is great. So. All right. So what I want to do here is create. Uh, where's my create chest? Is up that way. All right, so let's grab a couple of shoots. Now, yeah, this is going to be fun. So, shoots are going to go there. Transparent, so I can see what's happening there, at least for now. All right. All right, so mechanical crafters. All right, now... This plan here, it's going to be fairly straightforward, is I need to pop down this way. All right. And we'll take a crafter. It's going to go there, 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 and I guess I need to go down one. Okay. Okay. And we need one right there. All right. Cool. 
Now, here's where things get, get really fun. Mechanical crafters, uh, you can link them. I can actually take out this. It says click to merge inventories. Yeah, so if, if I feed anything into one of these, it actually ends up filling all of them. Okay, which is actually really cool. But remember the crafting recipe for bottles? It's a tea. So we're going to do it this way. I also want all of this to go that way, I think. Yeah, and I think what I'll do is I'll pop it into a chest here. Yeah, I think that's going to make sense. Um, chests. Okay, go back. All right. Nice. So that's all going to go that way. Okay. Do the same thing here. Now, what I hope I can do is merge at ah, cheese monkeys. Okay. I hope as I can merge inventories from the front. <sighs> All right. Well, this is obnoxious. If I can't merge inventories from the front, this is going to be really annoying. So that I do need to merge. What I might have to do just for the ability to actually get him in there with a wrench see i can't um oh oops hang on i can merge those inventories awesome it's gonna go that way um and then if i put this here can i merge those Ugh. That's a definite maybe. I'm gonna try a little magic here. So you know what? Let's just give myself a better platform here, huh? All right. So what I'm trying to do is I need to merge. Should have done this on the other side. Okay. As I want to merge those inventories and let's see. And now I need to merge merge those inventories and then I can take that one out. All right. Got it to work. It looks a little stupid, but it works. Okay. Nice. Oh, well, that was yeah, not the uh not the easiest thing in the world to do, but at least it was possible. And Sometimes possibilities are what's important, right? Right, absolutely. I don't know why this song is in my head. It's obnoxiously catchy. And I haven't... Okay. I was going to say, I haven't watched Sesame Street since I was a kid. That's not true. I watched Sesame Street when my kids were kids, so, you know. Okay, so this is all going to come here. Right, and then... Okay, this is how this is going to work. I may have to get a few more of these chain drives, but... We'll go with what we've got for now, and if I need more, I'll craft more. Then I need to come to here. Okay. 
that will work. All right. Because what I can then do is run shafts over and gears over and that's all happy. All right. So what we should be seeing then is stuff. All right. Let's get some. Okay. Let's put all that away. I need a couple of cog wheels and I need a couple couple of shafts. Okay. And the crafter can go in there. All right. So this is going to come across. That's not that's gonna come across this way. This is going to come across this way. And we're going to cog it up here and here. I guess I only need to do it that way. All right. So that's pointing up and going that way. That's all pointing that way. Oh, I need to put this brassy dealy bob in here like that. Okay. That just, all that brassy dealy bob says is don't put stuff here for the, in the crafting recipe. Everything else will go. Now glass, I'm going to double check the crafting recipes, but I'm pretty certain glass Pretty certain I can't type the word glass, okay? I know it's, okay. Glass by itself, lots of colors, bottles. Yeah, and some windows and things, but okay. Cool, so by itself, it's not gonna do anything, so I think I should be okay. My mouse is double clicking, that's not ideal. All right, I think we're good. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. All right, nice. So all of that's gonna come over and do the, the dealy bob that way, so awesome. So that's gonna go there. This is gonna go there so that the glass, when it makes it in here, will end up in here. Now. All right, that should be great. In theory, this is all gonna be awesome. So let's, right, that's why that's not on, lever. All right, okay. So that's all going to stop. The, the fans are all gonna stop anyway. All right, so if I turn that on, now the fans are gonna blow. All right, wonderful. Okay, we are just about there. Um, I'm gonna sleep, and I actually wanna get a little bit of glass for my own safety. And then we'll uh, see if this works. I think it will. Think about this isn't super complicated. I mean, this machine is just one big pile of spaghetti, but it should be fine. This is the thing about Create Mod, okay? Create Mod lets you build some really um, complicated things, okay? But the reality is, um, it's all built from small machines, okay? Wow, Riley is really stuck on uh, Kofi today, which is fine. I mean, you really should support me on Kofi, but the RNG is not being very random. <laughs> ah, anyway. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot like programming. If any of you have ever looked at that and stuff, where you start with small commands, small things to make things that are bigger. Okay, which is great. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is let's get a little bit of, okay. So that should, all right, this is gonna cause all sorts of breakage. It's gonna be fun. Trick is, yeah, 
let's okay i've got the lava bucket awesome lava bucket go there okay good it's spread so we should be seeing fire across all three that's wonderful all right now i won't accidentally get warped in there that's even more awesome and okay so that's sand's all gonna do its thing let's uh grab that that's not what i wanted okay hang on we'll get this we'll get this all right um now what do i not need in my inventory all of this sand it turns out Oh, darn it. I'm going to be picking up sand forever. Um, let's turn that off for a minute. All right. Let's uh, free up some inventory space somehow. I want... Okay. Cool. Now, let's... No, that's not how I wanted to do that. Okay. And I, cause I just need a free hand. Ah, okay. And combine those. Perfect. I just need an empty hand. You need an empty hand to grab this. Okay, cool. So now we'll just grab all of the sand, which I have now thrown on the ground because it's cool. All right. All right. You know what? I don't need it. I don't need it. Okay. Grass. Perfect. All right. Now, I'm hearing lots of clunky, clunky goodness over here. Oh, yeah. It is definitely making bottles. That's perfect. All right. Now, let's... I brought these tunnels for a reason. This tunnel is going to go here. Okay. And it's there strictly to keep everything from falling out. So all of this glass will go through, and now we'll drop the tunnel, or this uh, funnel here. You know, just to be on the safe side, it shouldn't matter, but this is called protecting myself. There's If there's sand in there, if there's not sand in there, the not sand is not, is not going to be an issue. So what I am doing is uh, I am building a system to create glass bottles. So the sand is now dumping out of this uh, vault. It's going through this machine, right? And so the fans blow all across all of this and turn the uh, sand into glass, which will eventually get gets pulled in here to this double chest. The glass then gets fed out and then into this mechanical crafter. Now, you can actually do this in vanilla now uh, with the new uh, crafter that dropped in the 1.20.4 update. Technically, dot three, but they dropped a dot four like the next day. And so now I'm getting glass bottles. These are important to me. They are hold a very special place in my heart. I'm going to be filling these with honey. I'm going to be filling them with water. Potentially, I'm definitely going to be filling them with milk. Because that's how the, a lot of the crafting recipes work. But I need the bottles. So, what we now have is a system here that... Throw that sand on there. It's just automatically... Yeah. It's just automatically uh, crafting all the things. Awesome. So let's see. Do I have any more connectors? That's an interesting question. I do have a couple connectors. Perfect. And probably a little bit more cable than that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an inventory connector right there and right there. Okay. Okay. And now, from my main storage, from my main control panel, 
I can get in and access all of this glass. This is silly. Why did I do this? This isn't doing it. Oh, right. This one doesn't need it. Okay, that's why. Okay. Yes, I am building up glass there, but it's this one that I really need. And then it's this guy over here. So let's take my connector, which I just discovered can go sideways. Like this. And yeah. Boom. So now my glass bottles are going to be available to me in my inventory. Or in, in, in my storage system. Sweet. So now I, I have a fully awesome system. Um, yeah, the one thing you can't do, like I said, most of this, like this part is now can be done in vanilla. The uh, smelting, well, and actually the sand generation as well, for that matter, is not one of those things. That you still have to do by hand to some extent. And you can't generate sand in vanilla, obviously, but that's fine. We are we are good to go. And this is why I did two. Because this is just a touch slow. Okay. Now I do want to check. Let's see. Now, down here, okay, that guy is set to 96. I could crank this up. Okay. That's going to make all of this go faster. It won't make the smelting process go any faster. That's, a, that's actually just time related. But it will make this go faster. Okay. Cranking up the speed on fans doesn't make them work faster. It makes them work farther. So they could blow further across all of this stuff. Theoretically, what I could do, because I am coming into a double chest, I could... I could put another belt here, but I think we're okay. The bottleneck is not this, the glass production. The bottleneck is the bottle production, right? Because you can see I've got, this This thing is just about full of glass, right? And it looks like, let's just watch this for a minute. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm making glass faster than I'm using it. Okay, right, these pull 16 at a time, but I can only use three at a time in the crafter, so. Yeah, so, awesome. So what I should be seeing is that this chest back here, uh, to get up here somehow, this chest back here should start backing up a little bit with glass. Yeah, which it is. Okay, cool. Now, just to make things a little cooler, we're going to do that. Because, yeah, what I could do... Yeah, see, I could throw a, another belt right down here, I think. Let's just double check what I got under there. Yeah, I could run another belt down across here. I smelt the glass twice as fast, but... I don't think I need to. Said I'll, if I need a lot more glass smelted, um, I can always pull some out and smelt it myself. And I, I'm not using glass quite that fast. So, all right. Well, that works. Um, right. I used up all the andesite casings I had. That's fine. I'll come back here and do stuff. Wonderful. So. I'm gonna grab one bottle here. And let's see, I need all that away. 
bottle, I need a shaft, and I need a redstone link. Leave that there. I think, I think the redstone link that's in here, I think it washed out on one of my farms when I was trying to get in some uh, um, rich soil. Yeah, and I think that broke some things. All right, so now, let's see. So this is gonna come out, put in the radio link here. This is gonna be on receive. And I'm gonna receive that and bottle. So when I'm done with crafting up bottles, this will turn on. And it will stop this whole machine from ha from doing stuff. So it's not entirely necessary. But because what will happen is when this chest fills, and jeez, I've already got a zillion of these. When this chest fills, um, all of this production will stop. All I'm doing is saving uh, some SU when I'm not using it. You know, if I'm not, uh, if it's not cooking bottles, it won't be cooking glass, which is okay. As I said, when I need glass, I'll cook it myself. So yeah, this should be good. This should be very good. All right. Nice. Now we're using a fair amount of sand, but not enough to uh, drain the vault to a point where it wants to start crafting more. So we are good as far as that goes. Okay, I just wanted to replace a couple of these blocks just to be sure that I don't accidentally pour lava on myself. So we're just going to uh, fill those in with blocks that are uh, not natural so I can hopefully see that and say, oh, hey, don't, uh, don't burn yourself, dude. Okay. This is, this is great. So, okay, let's see where I've got some, right, that chest right there. Oh yeah, see, glass production is definitely outpacing bottle production, so. I am not at all concerned about this. All right, perfect, well then. Let's go ahead and put my toolboxes away. Toolboxes away. There we go. I know where things are. Totally. Absolutely. All the things. I know where they're at. Um, yeah. I do kind of miss shulker boxes. I'm not going to lie. Tool there, are, there are days where it's like, you know, a shulker would make this a lot easier, but... I'm not going to be running into the end. I don't have the need, so. Except for shulker boxes, and it's not that important to me. All right, let's go get uh, a couple of things. We're going to get some andesite casings. And, oh yeah, this is, this is going to, did I? Oh, I did connect up to the sand. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is going to be amusing. I'm going to come over here. Veggie soup. Yay, soup. All right. Now, we're going to come down here, and let's take a look at how much sand I have. Not a lot. Okay. <laughs> Only 250, 265, huh? Where's it seeing that? So I should be connected. Can I see the bottles? That's the other question. Yep, there's the bottles. There's the glass. And I thought I connected up to the vault, but maybe I didn't. We'll double check. All right. Um, Andesite. Andesite alloy. Awesome. 
looks like I'm going to need to uh, get some more of that. All right. Well, I've got 5,000 andesite, so I can get up more alloy whenever I need it, which is awesome. Um, again, that's that's something that I may want to uh, think about doing in the not too distant future. Oh, right. I know what I'm doing. Turn that off. Grab some logs. Okay. And yeah. Andesite alloy goes there. Stripped logs go there. And there we go. Ourselves some andesite casings. Wonderful. All right. Let's go uh, throw some of the stuff in uh, back into the storage system. All right. Automation is awesome. Don't need to read that now. That stuff goes. What I really could do. What I really need is a beacon. The kicker is getting a beacon requires the. Uh, the whole wither thing and I'm not entirely sure I, I'm ready to do a wither battle of any sort. Oh, I am 100% going to cheese a wither if I decide to do one, but I need a beacon. I think I also am thinking uh, that some netherite would be useful. Not because I need netherite armor or even netherite tools. But because with another right upgrade and a wireless controller, I can actually access my storage from anywhere in the world. And that solves my inventory issues. Okay, so that's taken care of. Awesome. Let's grab my create toolbox. Yeah. Okay, that gets in there. Wonderful. Yeah, as I get a little further along with all of this stuff, it's like, yeah, I, the wireless access to my storage is maybe a good thing. Be really useful. All right. So those can go in there. Cool beans and let's go put the lever in there. All right. So let's double check. Did I actually connect the... Uh, sand vault into the storage i think i did but i think i did it's also possible it's not reading it i do know that the uh simple storage mod does read from vaults if they're next to a storage controller excuse me what i don't know i don't know if they uh if the storage connector actually counts. Oh, right. I need it. Hang on. Yeah. Create toolbox. I need one of those. Not all of them. Just one. Thank you. Okay. My inner chest is going to be a mess at the end of this season. All right. So that's going to go there. You don't have to cover up the shafts. I just do. Because I think it looks a little bit better. All right. And I did connect up sand here, but. Yeah, it just decided that. No, that, that's not going to read that. Okay, well, I may have to figure something else out. But for now, we'll be good. I, I fully expect glass will be fine, but if I need to, if I need to, what can I do? Um, I can deal with a vault or something. Though a double chest is bigger than a double vault, but smaller than a triple vault, eh, you know, barely. So, yeah. 
Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, anyway. Cool, so. Go and sleep, and, I, and then I'll go down and, and uh, encase the rest of my stuff down there. All right, cool, so that's, yep. I think we're good, man. I think we are very good. All right, so that can be encased. That doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. All right. Nice, I think we're good. All right, well that was uh, relatively quick and painless, I suppose. And yeah, so now we've got the full stacks of glass. Now, I don't have any controller on this. Right, I mean, I've got the link so I can turn it off. But, you know what I might do? That might be an interesting change, right? So, if I lock this with glass, all this is that's running here are the... Uh... Oh, I could put another clutch right here. I know, I just put all my stuff away. But I could put another clutch right here for glass production. Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give myself a little bit of extra uh, control. Yeah, so apparently my great-grandfather was a plumbing inspector in New York City. And he was a big believer in valves. <laughs> right? There were some... You know, because in plumbing, obviously, you have to be able to turn water off to certain sections so you can remove a pipe or replace it and stuff like that, right? Well, he uh, decided that he didn't like the uh, the specs that, uh, I don't know if it was New York City had or the New York State had. So he decided that he was going to put a valve it was something ridiculous, like every 10 feet or something. <laughs> because he wanted to be able to get and isolate this pipe, not the whole thing, not like 80 feet of pipe. He wanted this pipe or this section or that section. And that's kind of what I'm doing here, too, is it's like, hey, can I just control little bits and bobs here? And the answer is yes. Yes, I can. Okay. Cool, so that's going to be that. So this one. All right, let's get all my stuff out again. Uh, create chest, redstone chests, toolbox thing. Okay. A couple of those. Actually, I only need one of those. That's fine. Um, all right, so receive. And this, this is the glass bottle controller that okay and then this one over here you know, I guess I can take a stack of glass it's not gonna hurt anything and then this one will be the glass controller there so this thing is now set to produce glass right because all of this Okay, I think this will make sense. We'll find out if it makes sense, but I think this will make sense. So, that if glass is, it's only three fans. If they're on, I guess it's not that big a deal. So, if I decide to put a, a, a redstone limiter on this one, I can do that. A uh, inventory limiter, I can. All right, cool. So the rest of that can go in there. And all of this can go back here. Nice. So the next thing I need to do is set up a uh, limiter on the glass bottles, I suppose. But we are golden. Oh, I love it. I love it. And because this is tapped into the storage system, I can then pull those glass bottles anywhere out of the network that I want to. 
which is awesome. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. I go down here. Take the back door. Back door. Here we go. All right. Nice. Cool. So now what I can do is all of this. Let's double check. I want to... So how many bottles? Right? You can just spout them. Oh, perfect. Okay. You can do a mixer too, but I already have the honey in liquid form, so I could just pull it into a spout. And all of this stuff, like... Okay. The Farmer's Delight, that uses bottles. Yeah. All of this uses bottles except for the apples, which uh, get squirted on. But that's okay. All right, nice. Yeah, actually, honey, honey apples are uh, a fairly reasonable source of uh, food, though I'm not producing them quite in the quantities that uh, I would need to. I mean, I've got a fair amount of apple stuff going on out here. Right, I've got apple... 3,600 apples, but... Most of those are coming from... Uh, well, all of them are coming from uh, oak trees or dark oak trees when they get cut down. And... I'm just not... watching for apples. I don't have trees for apple production. I've got trees for wood production. The apples are just a happy byproduct. So my... I could easily run out of apples and not be generating more. So if I wanted to do something like that, I'd have to set up a separate oak farm. Yeah. Separate oak farm where I'm discarding all of the wood and just creating apples. All right, well, that's a thing that can be done, but we'll worry about that later. For now, let's just swing over here. And let's see. I need to pull out all my stuff again. All right, so we need redstone and the storage. Okay, need another radio. And I need a level emitter. Looks like I'm going to have to put a few more of those. And this one is monitoring bottles. And so if, if I have, I don't know, 3,000 bottles, which I think I do, then go ahead and turn on. Yeah, because I think if I, what am I at? Yeah, 4,000 I don't have, 3,000 I do, and that's fine. Okay. Again, it's a self-regulating system anyway, but... Which is, I think, the way... If if I ever do just a, another pure Create Mod series, I think that's the way I'm going to do it, is just self-regulated um, storage systems. Because I watched my, uh, my uh, factories just go out of control if they lost signal or something and it was flooding my storage okay yep and that has stopped perfect glass production is still happening so if I need glass I pull glass out of there it will make more glass but the bottle production has stopped that's great yeah, if this turns on, it stops bottle production, too. Because it's all the same same deal, so. All right. So I will probably not do the glass production dealy, Bob, but. Hmm. Okay. Well, again, self-regulating systems. I like it. All right. Cool. So now... Yeah, so this is really nice. So obviously this can be automated, but slap a honey bottle there. Now you get honey and 
honey is very useful in recipes. So, nice. So where are we at? It's nine o'clock. All right, so we've been going for an hour and a half, which is great. Yep, let's throw this in the kitchen cupboard. Yeah, it's a good thing I've got some carrots because I was... I've made a an interesting miscalculation, okay? The, the problem I have is that a lot of the veggies and stuff that I need, like carrots, for example, <laughs> that I need for uh, you know, recipes is going to feed pigs. And that's great. I mean, the pigs definitely need to be fed uh, because I need all of the pork. But yeah, the, uh... oh, bacon. But oh yeah, I'm making a lot of bacon. So maybe what I should do I set those numbers really high. Maybe I, I should dial the the meat levels back just a bit. Because the carrots and stuff, it's definitely an issue. All right. Raw bacon. Okay, yeah, because I think I set this to 3,000. Let's take this to actually down to 1,000, okay? And the, the raw pork chops, same thing. We're going to dial this back to 2,000, okay? And I should probably do the same thing here with the, uh, the chicken. Okay. And, yeah, all right. We'll do this with the uh, meat and the beef here as well. Right, the, the mutton and the beef. Okay. Because unfortunately, yeah, it's just, uh, take that down to two, and then this one. Oops, down to 1,000, wonderful. Okay, cool, so. Nice, so that should stop. Let's double check up here. Uh, that's all the tree stuff. Okay, so that should be stopping. Okay, yeah. This, well, the steak will still be, actually this will still be going because I don't have enough raw steak. Right, so if I come over here and I'm looking at, or beef, let's do raw for a minute. Right, I've got it's the raw mutton up there. Okay, chicken. Is that, oh, that's all, it's probably all being cooked. That's just crazy, okay. And beef. Yeah, because that was all minced or steakificated. Um, steak, let's dial this down to Probably a hundred. I don't think I need that much. Fried eggs. Egg production, that's fine. Fried eggs. It's fine. That's all stopped. So that's good. Um ham I'm not doing yet. Which I should probably edit this. I'm just gonna put a asterisk on those because I'm not uh, producing any of those yet but okay steak is there raw beef yep I probably just don't have any because it's all being cooked into steak and being minced into minced beef which is fine okay cool so, oh, I don't even have connections on those. Great. Okay, cool. So we're we're good here. 
that's all starting to light up. So basically, we should start seeing the amount of raw stuff, raw meats start to back up here. Yeah, because the cutlets are there. Yeah, once the yeah once all that stuff really starts to kick in, uh, yeah, we should be we should be golden, I think. Awesome. So, yeah, other than the fact I need steak for things like um, stuffed potatoes, and there are a few other things that are that are there, but. Okay, well, this is, this is just lovely. Okay. Nice. Now, I, I really do need to put in a little bit of something here. I don't know what. Actually, what I, I could do is put in some uh, diorite walls there. It breaks up the thing and sort of isolates this a little bit as being something special. Let's take a look at that. Some cut diorite and the, uh, polished diorite. Cool. Okay, and if I just do this. Same thing because I've been zigzagging that. Okay, so that's really polished, 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 polished. Okay. I suppose it doesn't matter, but part of me thinks it should matter, and so it does. <laughs> okay. Cool. Now, obviously, I need to do a ceiling. I need to do a floor. I've got right all of that stuff, but yeah, I think that looks good. Just as a, it's a nice little break. Though maybe I don't know. Let's see, diorite walls. I don't have an option for. Oops, that's still stuck there. Cool. Uh, diorite. Why are you not? Okay. Hello, computer. Diorite. Oh, hey, do I not have the auto search? REI syncs. There we go. REI syncs. One of those buttons, I think, will be the right one. Okay. There we go. Hey, Carp, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, see, there is a diorite brick wall. Maybe I should. Oh, well, I guess that requires diorite bricks. Yeah, let's go try that. I'm, I'm actually really curious to see what this is look, gonna look like. I'm just going down where I've got a stone cutter. <laughs> it's early, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's 9 a.m. where I'm at, so, you know. Okay, so let's grab some diorite, and we're going to diorite bricks. That's small bricks. I don't want the small bricks. I want the cut. Ah, there it is. All right, we're going to go throw this in and, and rather than do the checkerboard like we've been doing in lots of other places we're going to do a little something a little bit different up here all right so yeah let's take this out not that this is necessarily bad oh it's 11 for you okay so early 11 a.m yeah yeah okay we're gonna put the bricks here and we're gonna take the polished like that. So it's sort of the inverse of those. And I think it's just gonna I'm just gonna slap that in there and give this just a little bit of a oops, no. Just a little bit of a, a separation. Um yeah, polished goes down there, then the bricks. Chink, chink, chink. There we go. All right. 
yeah, it's just a little bit of a, a fun split. This is, yep, this area is important. Okay. Yeah, what I might do, this would be an interesting thing, right? I've got the controllers down downstairs on the bottles and on uh, ports. What I might do is move the bottle and thing up here and maybe put in one for bowls. Because I am going to have to carve up a bunch of bowls. Hmm. Right, because a lot of these these recipes, right, you look at them. Right, let's, you can see a lot of them like the baked cod stew. It goes in a bowl, right? Vegetable soup, obviously you serve it in a bowl, right? Spaghetti with meatballs, right? It goes in a bowl. So... I do need to automate bowl production as well. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Um, so how do I want to do that? I mean, obviously I do it with create mod and stuff, but, and a bowl is what, just planks, right? If I want to craft a bowl, yeah. It's planks, okay. Which means I have to strip the logs, or I don't have to strip them, I have to uh, plank them, and then feed them into a machine. Okay, that that's doable. Okay, so. All right, well, since I finished my goal for today, which was to get the uh, glass bottle production done, all right, so let's get some rose quartz. Okay, that's fine. Um, sandpaper. Need two of those. Yes, I can make a chicken sandwich. I can also make an egg sandwich. Yep. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Made from two cubic meters of wood. You're telling me, man. Yeah, every once in a while you look at the, uh, uh, you, you think a little too hard about how much uh, stuff did I just use to craft that? It's a little crazy. I think just making it from slabs would make a little more sense, but. All right. So, yeah, so that one's off. Okay. All right. Now... Let us see what good things we can do. Electron tubes. There we go. I want to be making all of the electron tubes. Thank you. How much more? Okay. I'm going to smash a little bit more iron. It's used in enough places and I'm down you know, like 20-something, so. Yep, I could fully automate all of this mess if I wanted to, but I'm not. <laughs> this is not that hard. But especially with um, Tom Simple Storage, oh, it gets all sorts of crazy. All sorts of crazy simple, you know? Because it's kind of ends up like what I've got down here, right? Where I've got, oh, the furnace or the, the millstone or even the slicer, right? Where I can just, oh, yeah, just pop out what you need, run it through the whatever processing it needs to happen, and then shove it back in the storage. It uh, makes this really easy, which I'm okay with. <laughs> All right, so lava bucket, you and me. Okay, so let's see now. What other fun and exciting things do I want to do? Oh, right. I was going to craft some mechanical crafters. 
because can. This is one of those things that would actually be a potentially. Actually, I don't know if it would be easier with the new crafter or not. Oh, um, I want probably to double up on that. I mean, at least with create mod, I could use rotational power. And I don't have to worry about redstone or anything, right? Okay, so I need a saw. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. Create. Awesome. Grab some casings. All right, I need a saw. Right, so that'll... That will get me planks. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think... I think we can make this happen. Just a matter of how we want to do it. All right, and where we want to do it. Let's see, let's come back up here to the warehouse. Um, though, honestly, I don't need to do it up here. I've got, because of the storage mod, Let's do it down in the factory. That's that's what the factory is there for. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna build this down here in the factory and um someplace. All right, so there's the cows. There's this mess. All right. Um. Yeah. Sure. That lets me tap into the main storage which is definitely going to be an essential part of this whole process. All right. Nice. Let's um let's get the drill. Cuz that's going to make digging this out a lot faster. All right. No, it's either a big bowl or really really inefficient uh Carving of the wood. Okay, I've got coal there. That's great. Um, anything else I need? Yeah, I really need to just get, get myself a new fortune pickaxe or something. But, okay. So that's all there. Cool. Let's... I don't know that I've had any, but I'm just going to grab a little bit of cobblestone just in case it needs to do some bridging. All right, cool. So now I do need to be careful. Let's free cam around here for a minute. I don't want to get too far this way because then I'll end up running into machinery that I really don't want destroyed. So, you know, that would be kind of a good thing to avoid. Okay, so that's going to go there. Drill in. Oops, light it up. Or at least we'll light it up here in a minute. Oh, cool. I didn't drain it from last time. Perfect. All right. Just to be sure. Oh. Uh. Okay, no, that doesn't go all the way through. Perfect. All right, nice. In that case, let's uh, let her go. I suppose if I break something, I'll fix it. But. All right, and make sure it stays lit. All right, we'll come around this way just to... We'll watch. Once I get over to about, well, the end of this, I'll just take that out. All right. All right, well, there we go. So that's... That's looking good. Um, do I want to drill out any more of this? Let's see, where is that? Okay. I don't know. I certainly have enough space here. I think, what, I, think I won't drill it. I'll just go ahead and dig out a little bit more here. 
just for a little bit of uh, easy access to things, you know. It's not going to be too crazy. Plus, you know, a little more crimsite is, is nice to have. Okay, now I'm not down that low. It's... It's part of the create mod um, world gen that puts uh, deep slate and tough blocks generating way up high. But not that big of evil. Does make me want to use mechanical drills a lot more. I was also really tempted. There's a machine you can set up Right, I've got a cobblestone generator that's... Let me free cam over here for a minute. I'm going to... Right, and the way this sucker works, right, is water flowing. Lava gets pushed up, and then it turns into cobblestone. And this this platform to stone gets shifted back and forth. And while it's moving, lava can go up. It cobblestones, and when the machine stops, it breaks all the cobblestone, which pops up here and flows down. Apparently, if you use, instead of water, you use honey, it creates obsidian. So, one of these days, I may have to try that with, since I've got a, got honey. <laughs> it might be interesting just to see what, uh, if that machine works with a, uh, with a honey generator. That would be really funny. You know, just, yep, I'm just going to create a honey farm so I can make obsidian. As opposed to just using water and stuff, you know. Okay, nice. So we've got a little bit of space here. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we've got space, and I've got access to power somewhere here. Where does that... I mean, obviously, the steam plant's right here, so I've got... I should have plenty of access to power from somewhere. But I suppose I could just tap it from somewhere else, I guess. It's just a matter of what's convenient, where can I run lines. Okay, so that's coming from over there. So yeah, so I could just basically run this this way. Yeah, it would run underneath my villager breeder, which is fine. Not sure I actually need the villager breeder anymore, but Psst. wrenches make lousy hammers. Okay. Okay, yeah, I could just run power right through here. Okay. Yeah. And that'll be good, because then... Also, I have power... So I can run power there. I also have power coming in... from right here as well. So I could... I could tap that, I suppose, in a number of places. And pull more power that way, but... I kind of like the idea of bringing it... Kind of bringing it through here so that I could then potentially make a turn and run it. I'll run it down this way, perhaps, or, or something. Something along those lines I could do. All right, and I think, is this... Yeah, and this is all cranked up high, I think, because it's pulling off of that. So, yeah. All right, well, let me go drop off some stuff, and then, yeah, we'll run power this way and just get get that for the uh, for our new bowl manufacturing. Ah, oh, sorry, I got feels like I got a little something in my eye. It's your finger. Yeah, no kidding. Ugh. Oh. All right. Get a little bit of that uh, sleepy sand stuff still. All right. 
drill goes in there. That goes there. All right. Cool. All right, so let's see now. How do I want to approach this? Oh, let's... Do I have more kelp before I get into this? Because I do. Perfect. Because I'm going to need to craft up some more belts. Belts spelled with a T. Oh, nice. Let's craft up a few more of those. All right, yeah. I do need to to uh, build a kelp farm, for both for belts, but also for food. This is not the right floor, but it is where the elevator is, so we're good. Okay, so what I want to do here is, let's see. Yeah, so let's get some shafts. Okay, we'll just run them down this way. Now, yep, we're right underneath the villager breeder. Perfect. All right, nice. So now I've got some power there for when I need it. The next step. Actually, this would be an interesting. Rather than build it here, I could build it over here. Maybe. I've got this area in case I need to add more things to the smelting system. All right, I've got some room, but I need to be sure I've got room continuing this way, so. And again, I don't want to break into the reader too much. So, whoa, okay. That's a problem. Okay, that's the villager breeder. Let's uh, not maybe break that. Good down here. I think we're good down here. Okay. All right. So we we don't break that. We we leave this here and let it enjoy a fruitful life. All right. In that case, yeah, we'll we'll build over here. Step one: move torches. Now, let's see now. I think what we're going to do, because ah, I want to be able to turn this off when it's not in use. So, on the other hand, having the, I might do the same thing I did with the plank production up, or the glass production up here. In a lot of ways, this is the same machine that I just built. So, what I can do is, let's see. Yeah, I've got plenty of space here. All right, nice. So, let's do this. I'm gonna not all of that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is let's run hmm, the, uh, this could be a little funky. All right, let's run maybe to here. Now, part of the reason why this is funky is I'm is it's going the wrong way. That that's why this is funky. It's going the wrong way. I mean, sure, I could build it to go this way too, but I guess that wouldn't be that big a deal. <laughs> okay. Of course, I also have power right down here, too. So, lots of interesting issues. All right. Because I could... Because I could put a gearbox and flip this power around so this is going the right direction. I guess that's not that big a deal. Nothing else is on here, so I don't have to worry about things rotating incorrectly. Okay. Okay. Nice. Now, so give myself a little bit of space if I want to deal with some other things. So let's now put in the mechanical saw. It's going to go here. 
All right, and then we take a few more things here. All right, no, I need to think about this a minute. Um, I know, thinking, doing too much thinking. I should maybe stop thinking. Thinking is hard. Yeah, so basically what I'm, so I was thinking I would maybe want to throw lots of other woods here, but the reality is I don't. I just want one type of wood for, to, to simplify stuff, right? So, okay. Yeah, so let's go ahead and break this here. And, and then we'll take that out, that out. All right, now this will make sense. Uh, assuming the saw blade is facing the right direction. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Nice. Now, where things get a little bit messed up here is getting all of this to spin the right way. But it's not that bad, actually. Okay, so that saw is now deadly, which is fun. Okay. Because the saw needs to spin opposite the direction of the movement, so. So we're good there. Now. The only problem with doing this is it's hard to frame and make look good because of the way I've decided to build it. So. Because I do kind of want some of this back here to look okay um all right do i want to do i want to move this and make it make it look a little bit better something and yeah i think i do okay which is fine let's gonna take that out all right So yeah, we'll just slide this this way. <clears throat> um, shafts are going to come. This. All right. Yeah, so I can then sort of block off some of this if I need to, or whatever it is I'm going to do, but it can be a thing. Absolutely a thing. That's a thing. That's stinging. All right. Let's grab a cube. Now, yeah, see, that's now spinning the wrong way, which is, I guess, fine. Um, I don't want to do that. No, that's... No, that is absolutely fine. Because if I... That's spinning that way. Yeah, no, this will work great. Once everything is actually facing the right way. There it goes. Okay. And... So I've got a bed here somewhere. There it is. All right, nice. So what I'll do, we'll just set this this way. And like that, and we'll take our happy saw, which is going to go there. Else. And there we go. Perfect. So yeah, so this was spinning the wrong way for the belts, but it's spinning the right way for the saw. So I can reverse the direction with those, and that's great. And... Yeah, I probably want to be pulling some power that way. All right. Maybe. We'll we'll see. I may change that. But anyway, so all of that's going to come down here. We'll, we'll feed we'll feed the wood down onto this, which is cool. It should get cut, which is also cool. Um where's my ender chest? 
All right. So storage. Um, I'm going to need a couple of things, probably, but. Oh, yeah. It's like, what do I need out of this? I need a chest. Okay. Okay, so we'll get a chest there, and then take that up. And then we're going to do the same thing we did over on the other side with the honey machine. Though, I might build it backwards. So the problem I had with the bottles is you have to be able to reach the back in order to uh, put stuff in. Oh, I need to hit the front to hit the... It's going to be a problem either way, so who cares? All right, we'll just do it. Let's do it the same way. It'll be great. Okay, so that's going to go there. Now let's go ahead and get some stuff here. Let's take this out. Nice and easy, I hope. All right, so let's grab our crafters and our deep bobs here. Now, same thing we did before. Crafter, 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 and crafter. Plate goes there. And then we link this stuff, just like that. Now, it's going the other way which was uh, definitely an issue. So, right, so these guys I can merge like that. Cool. And then that one I need to do. Nope. Um, underneath, from underneath. Yep, underneath. Okay. All of that gets linked and... Can't reach anything down here. That gets linked. So now it's all one big dealy bob, and then that one can come out. Cool. And I'm gonna block that. Nice. All right, so this will all go something sort of this way, kind of. Okay, that goes that way. This goes up, and that goes that way. Nice, so I can just put a chest right on top there. Uh, right, okay. It's like, why do I have this double chest here? Can I could just, yeah. No, the double chest is there as a splitter, which is cool. Um, yeah, all right. So now, Let's go upstairs and get some of the stuff I forgot to bring with me because, yep, bringing things with me it seems silly. On the other hand, I just have to go upstairs. It's not that far. All right, so let's go ahead and get the uh, funnels. Need a couple of those and. That should just about do it, I think. So this is a fairly simple machine, so I'm not too not too concerned about it, but all right. Right. I and in fact I really only need one of these here that yeah, no, this is this will make all sorts of sense. All right. Cool. Let's take that off for me. All right, let's get the uh Oh, I've already got the storage tools. Cool. I need the hoppers, I'm gonna need these, but I also need a log. I need I need an oak log so I can set some filters properly. Doesn't matter. Pick one. <laughs> I should also maybe think about bringing a storage terminal downstairs because. Okay. 
We'll grab a couple of those. All right. Yes, yeah, so if I bring a storage terminal downstairs, then uh, then I can access everything from down here, and I don't necessarily have to go up to the workshop to get to things. Okay. Yeah, so like I could potentially, oh, rig something up maybe on that wall, this wall, somewhere, anywhere. Anywhere I have storage. This wall might actually make some sense, but anyway. Ah. All right, so let's go ahead and get our, okay, our hopper, which is going to use an oak log as a filter. Okay. Nice. And now, what I should be able to do is we're going to tap this storage line right here. Okay. And there it goes. Except it's doing the wrong thing. So let's go ahead and break that. Cool. And... Da -da 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 -da. That's still the wrong thing. Cool. I don't need this strips. Oh, hang on. Let's just make sure plank. So if I want oak planks. Okay, I do have to strip this twice. Cool. All right. Then uh, twice it is. Yeah, um, okay. Yeah, because you have to strip the... So the way Create Mod handles it, you have to strip the log into stripped logs and then the strip logs into planks. Okay, you can't go from the logs into planks. I mean, you can, you have to use a mechanical crafter, but if you want to do it quickly, you have to use two layers of saws. All right, so it, it's annoying, but it's also not really that big of a deal. It's just um, it's just something you have to deal with. So let's go and just clean all this out. All right, and just to be sure, it goes crazy. So let's see, how do I want to handle this then? Um, I could just move all of this down, I suppose. I was thinking I'd put it here, which actually might work. Um, let's see. No, that's not going to happen. All right, yeah, it's just the, uh, it's just the issue with the things there. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit annoying, but that's fine. I'll just move all this. Okay. Easily done. Not that big a deal. Don't have to get married to all of the setup here. Yeah, I built a machine in my last create mod world that uh, it took the wood through the entire line. I actually had it auto crafting every wood, um, every wood thing that I could do. Uh, kill. Or mechanical belts, actually. It's not kill. All right. So that's fine. So we'll just set this up this way. Same deal. I just need to give myself a little bit of space to, uh, okay. Could you please face the right way? No. Nope. Well, that's not gonna help at all. There we go. <laughs> you know, that's a, we'll just, uh, 
really mess things up. All right. Um, oh, I need some shafts and I need the belts, or a belt and yeah. Okay, shaft there, shaft there. Right, because I'm going into all of that stuff. Right. Um. Yeah. So chests. No, chests go there. Ow, 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 and also ow. Turns out, standing on the saw blades really hurts. It, like really hurts. It's like painful and stuff. It removes my wee little toes. Okay. All right, so that'll work. So now I need to come back here with my, oh. yeah, with my shoots. Do this whole setup again. It's a little annoying because I'm doing two back to back, but it's faster and I'm gonna I want the speed. Alright, um there they are. That's not the right ones. Stop that. Crafters. Okay. So mechanical crafter. There, 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 there. All right, and they all get merged because they're awesome like that. All right, and then that goes there. Wonderful, now the other side, again, this is a little, it's just a little weird because I can't merge things properly because I can't reach the back, so those get linked. Um, I'm standing where that goes, so, okay. Let's try that again, this time facing the right way. Okay. Those get linked, which means those get linked, and then that goes away. All right. Nice. All right. Now that they're all sharing inventories. Oh, yeah, my cat is having all sorts of sounds coming out of him all right and that one's sealed all right nice so now what should happen is let's run power over here uh shafts this way i guess Sorry, I was just thinking, and that's hard. Um, but, but I can't think and and do anything at the same time. Turns out that's just not easy at all to do. I think what I might do, since that's all coming that way, rather than run that there. Do I did I leave my case chain drives? No, I put them away because I don't need them anymore. Of course. Okay, no, this is fine. My nose itches, which is also fine. All right. So what we'll do then is, because I just have to link this up to something so that it's powered. Now, if it's not spinning, it's not doing anything. Okay, so that's there. Yeah, basically all I need to do is just do it this way. Yeah, this will be fine. It's not as pretty as using an encased chain drive, but it works, and so we'll go with it. I plan on hiding all of that anyway, so there, take that out. Okay, nice. So in theory, this should work. All right, so let's set up our storage again. Goes away. All right, so we'll grab ourselves a further, grab ourselves some inventory, or a hopper, which goes there. We're filtering this guy for oak logs. Boom. And then, okay, wonderful. 
And there we go. I'll keep uh, a few of those. Okay. Ten. There we go. And that's it. We now have a bolificator. Which is awesome. And then if I were to come in here, let's throw those away and let's grab an inventory connector. That's going the wrong way, which is cool. Grab an, grab an inventory connector right there. The bowl should now be in the main storage. Let's go upstairs and take a look. Workshop. Let's go take a look. So what I should be seeing here, bowls. Yep, there they are. They are cranking away. Perfect. So now I should be able to tap anywhere I need bowls for for uh, any of the meals I need to create. I can just tap into main storage and I can say, give me bowls and it will give me bowls. And if I start getting low, it will just give me more bowls. Okay. So now I could put a limiter on this. Something to stop this. So, like a clutch. <laughs> Let's go grab one because I didn't bring one with me because that's the way this day has gone. Hit the button. Eat the food. Okay. Let's grab a clutch. Okay. Clutch. So this is good. I'm not entirely sure I'll... It'll be that big a deal, but... Still, it creates these things fast enough that... It'll be good. It'd be nice to uh, at least stop the saws when it's not in use, right? See? It's not lovely. Alright. We're gonna break this for a minute. Put clutch. All right, and now grab the redstone toolbox. Those. All right, so this will be on receive. It's going to receive. Ah, I wonder what I've got broadcasting. Something somewhere. Anyway, cool. So this whole machine will just stop when there are bowls. Or at least whenever I signal that there are, we have enough bowls. But it will stop automatically when this double chest is full. I mean, it won't stop the saws, but it won't produce anymore when that chest is full. This is my emergency break. Which is a nice thing to have. Okay. All right, so that's chugging along with bowls. That side is doing nothing. Okay, well. Oh, right, it's doing nothing because I don't have that on there. Perfect. Oops. Okay, that's better. Hey, Frog Hopper, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. All right, so yeah, so now that's pulling all the stuff in. Because this will feed, again, just like the glass that I did at the beginning of the stream, the glass bottles, this will cr create logs or create planks faster than this can generate bowls. Yeah, see, there we go. Yep. So all the bowls in the world are now being crafted. So that is... Wonderful. Okay, let's grab some casings to uh, make some of this stuff a little prettier. Okay. There we go. We'll just bring this across this way like that. All right. Okay, we'll just slap those in there too. Okay, beautiful. 
I mean, it's loud, but hey, what do you expect from a factory? Factories just, they be loud. That's just how this works. But hey, we've got it. We're now auto, auto crafting bowls, which is, puts us one step closer to actually being able to fully automate some uh, food production because a lot of the um, like a lot of the farmers delight foods need to be plated right they ha they need to go on a plate and they need to have uh, or plates or a bowl or something so we'll have plenty <laughs> we will have more than enough, I think. So, so that's great. All right, let's go uh, put the control on this thing. Just a well, yeah, okay. And so I think this is going to come up here. I want to do this in the warehouse just because I think it's going to look cool. Yeah, just eat the bowl. Yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> Skip the food. Yeah, that, that's totally how that works. Ah, they're made of wood. It's organic. You know, it, it counts. All right. Oh, I need... Um. No. What, what, what do they call them? These guys. Level emitters. Apparently I need redstone torch, which apparently I need redstone. Okay. Do I have redstone? I might have a little bit. I've got some torches. That'll work. All right. It's not that one. That one doesn't craft. This one does. Uh, level. Oh, jeez. This is... You know, I have a career in IT. I type for a living. Never know it, but I totally do. Okay. Comparator. Okay, there we go. We, we got it. Okay, that's fine. I only needed two. You got two. Okay. Yeah, that that's it. I know it's it's shocking, right? But okay, so we've got a couple of level emitters there, which is apparently good, I guess. Ah, all right. Yeah, no, I'm a sysadmin and a programmer. I do a lot of typing in my day. All right, so what I'm going to need is, let's bowl this guy up. Um, I think if I have 3,000 bowls, that should pretty well cut it. Um, Okay, you're right, love. Knives cut, bowls don't. You'd think I'd have learned this by now, but no, I haven't. It's I've I'm. This is one of those skills. I don't know the difference between a knife and a bowl, which made making breakfast in the morning some days really a challenge, as I spilled cereal all over the counter because it wouldn't stay on the knife. Yeah, it's just, it's a problem. I admit it. Sometimes I, uh, I, I just have these problems. Okay. I can't remember how many bottles I said, but we'll do 3,000. I'm going to move the... Okay, that's 3,000 bowls. Okay. Yep, I'm just going to move the bowl controller up here. Or the... Uh, oh, the thingy. The bottle controller up here. So that's there. Um, I've got a... I should have a bottle here somewhere. Yep, got a got a couple. Okay. Awesome. I can click on things. All right. Nice. So that can go back in there. And now I need signs. Let's craft. No, I want the black ones. Thank you. It's nice black canvas signs. This one is bowls. That one is 
bottles. Wonderful. All right. Cool, so I can put those back. And let's go clean up the other, uh, the other bottle controller because said I decided to move this up here. And yeah, this is gonna be great. Do I have it down here? I can't remember. No, I've got it on the factory level. No, I don't. I have it on the workshop level. This is why I have to do things differently. Okay. So that is going to come out. And this one, we're just going to clear. Okay. So if I do need something else there, I can do that. But we should be set now. So set down here and in the time it took to reset that I like how I managed to get this to line up without even planning it yeah and this is all stopped because we've hit 3,000 bowls which is not quite a double chest well that was quick and easy <laughs> All right, nice. Yep, there's my milk machine. Oh, this is fabulous. Oh, looks like the... Oh, that's what's broadcasting on this. Okay. The honey. Come on. Point at the honey. Okay. I do want that up. Yeah, maybe 90. Okay, cool. So I might take that off too because it's that's actually broadcasting to all of this and I don't know that I want to do that. Ah, but it's nice, but this container is full. And so these guys, yeah, they should start filling up these little columns here oh isn't that lovely water milk honey and then chocolate's going to go there okay cool let's go and take that off because i don't need it at the moment uh I live down here now okay cool and the chocolate one that one's going to be a little bit of a, a weird one so gonna wait on that but okay nice yeah because the bees are basically just not going to stop production so I can just keep all of this pumping along because I have some ideas I think I'm gonna do next week I think I'm gonna build a sugar farm on top of this a couple of layers of a rotating sugar farm and just continue this tower up a little bit so that all of my sweet stuff is happening in this one tower. Okay, not the chocolate, but you know, honey and sugar and stuff. Oh yeah, the <laughs> these bees are, uh, they're trapped in here. This, this little one block tall space. Yeah, it's, uh, that's looking a little, little messed up. Look at all of this, the piping and the, yeah, no, I'm going to hide all of that. <laughs> but yeah, we'll build this up. I said, I think I'm going to do this next week. We'll build this up, get all the sugar in place. And I may have a little bit farmed out for paper because I do need a little bit of paper production. But the rest of it is going to go into, uh, into making sugar. Feed that into the the millstone right there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be actually a little bit of a challenge. Cause I think what I wanna do, so I was looking at this a little bit last night. I think what I wanna do is, I'm gonna build it up here and use the storage cabling and run storage right down through the center of the bees. So they'll, they'll lose one 
flower space, but that's not that big a deal, I think. Uh, but then I'll be able to pull the, the sugar down through that into the main storage, and then I can grind up and paper up what I need. So, yeah, that's the... That's the plan, I think. How I'm going to make that happen, I have no idea, but... Uh, we shall see. But as of today, I now have bottles being produced, and I now have bowls being produced. So... Ah, uh, we are definitely making all the progress in the world. Because actually, the, the bowl production was one of the big uh, showstoppers. Because without um, without everything else, or without, without the bowls, it's hard to make m most of the meals. Some of them, like burgers and things, I can do. But, you know, because burgers don't need a bowl, apparently. That, that's just not how hamburgers work. So, all right. Well, that was that was interesting. Yeah. So, for those of you who were missed the beginning of the stream, hop up here. And out here, my my sort of factory. I need to get out here and and decorate this. But that's something that that's a little bit more of a uh, maybe something I do off camera just to uh, get my Minecraft fix. But I swung in over here. Let me sleep first, and then I'll show you show you how all this is happening. So, not too long ago, I'm, I think I showed it on stream, but... Right, I, I built this sand machine, right? It goes from cobblestone to, to gravel to sand. And then this way it gets turned into uh, soul sand and becomes uh, whatever this is, quartz and gold nuggets. Great. But if I come over here, this is what I did today. I pulled the sand out of this vault, run it past the uh, lava here to turn it into glass, and then the glass gets pulled in, went, well, there, but also into, this is the same machine I just built but gets turned into bottles. All right, so that, uh, yeah, I've got all the bottles I need when I need them for the honey and the the glass, or the honey and the water and the milk and all of the other things, so. Yeah, just a little bit of, hey, I want to get these done. And so I wasn't going to stream this morning. I was, I was feeling a little bit dead to everything yesterday because... I haven't slept as much this last couple of days. But man, I woke up refreshed and ready to go and said, "All right, hey, let's let's knock these out real quick." I'm not even going to bother with a video on these ones. This is just going to be you know, hey, I did these on stream the other day. Go watch that. All right, but I think that is going to be it for the stream though. Man, it's it, you know, it's nice to feel productive. <laughs> you know, it happens sometimes. Oh, it it's it happens and productivity happens and it's weird, but it's also great. <laughs> so, oh man! All right. Um, I do want to, of course, point you over at my socials over there at Music Free Gaming. Um, and if you want to support me over on Kofi at ko-fi.com slash music for gaming, that is awesome and amazing. Um, so again, it's a very Patreon-like system. Um, so check that out. Also have merch over in the merch store, store.musicforgaming.com. I think we're past the time if you wanted to get something by Christmas. Uh, I think you would. that was last week. But hey, it'll look great for New Year's. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, that'll do it. So until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off.